Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to play some Splatoon 2. I've been a fan of Splatoon ever since the first one was released, so you bet I'm excited for part 2. Now I know everyone loves the multiplayer in these games, but I've always found the actual campaign or story mode to be very fun. And right away, what is this? I... People miss Miiverse, but... This was the type of stuff you'd see all the time in Miiverse. I love my girlfriend. Anime sucks. Right. Uh, people swear by using motion controls in these games, but I've never been able to get the hang of it. I'm not a fan of motion controls, so I'm just going to play with your standard traditional controls. But anyway, I want to know what's up with those Squid Sisters. So right here, let's go. People say, you know, that they like Marina and Pearl, the new sort of duo. But I've always been a fan of Callie and Marie. So I gotta find out what happened to Callie. She's been kidnapped, apparently. Or gone missing. Alright, got some backstory. Need to get the great Zap Fish back from the evil clutches of the Octarians. Alright, watch this. See, that's why I like the um, Splatoon story mode. What do we get here? Alright, so you're collecting stickers. Like uh, Paper Mario, apparently. You know, this isn't your typical first person shooter or third person shooter uh, campaign. There's a lot of platforming, like in Mario games, whatever. So it's good. It's just a good. I need more zapfish. It's a good change of pace from your typical sort of story modes. Here we are. Again, just gotta paint this like in the first one, and then you can enter. Let's see how this game stacks up to the first one. I'm sure it's gonna be even better, but you never know. What I really liked about the first one was the, um, the music was great. I don't know if this one has the hidden scrolls like in the first one, like kind of like little bonuses to do in each stage. Alright, these guys look familiar. You know, people say that motion control is a lot better, but sometimes I'm having... Maybe it's too slow, I gotta... I dodge the ink. Fly with your own. So this is different. You can kind of ride these rails apparently. This is a checkpoint, I believe. A little Sonic there. And these balls, I forget what they do. I know they were in the first one as well. Hide behind the wall if you need to catch your breath. I don't really need to do that right now. But it's always good, right? It's fun to kind of dodge. The first one, the final boss, was pretty difficult, but it was great. You know, that's why I get a little worried sometimes with Nintendo games. You know, they make them a little too easy. So I'm hoping this is. There's no option to increase the difficulty. I mean, Breath of the Wild is definitely not that easy at all, so... Hopefully Nintendo is catering to more of the hardcore gamer 
audience, even though I wouldn't consider myself hardcore gamer. I'm just someone who likes a good challenge. I think a challenge is fun. I don't do it to punish myself. Alright, I don't know what that is, but maybe that was like a little secret item. I'm thinking on the top right there, next to the counter, are these maybe hidden items you have to find in each stage. Octocopters. Music so far is your typical Splatoon flair. I don't. It's not bad. Right here, right? We got like an item that I could have just totally skipped. We got that though. I don't know. Just to me, I find something like this just very enjoyable. Just kind of splatting, swimming through the ink, and then just hopping from platform to platform. That's all you really need. For me to be happy with Splatoon, the, um, the uh, online aspect is just kind of like the cherry on top. So obviously this is the first stage, so it's very just um, getting the basics down. Not much to do. Marie's kind of like your um from Metal Gear here, kind of talking to you, telling you what to do, where to go. Got a little uh, Jet Grind Radio grinding right there, which I would always kind of compare the two. They're very sort of have that futuristic sort of street kids aesthetic with good music, you know. It's very comparable, but I would love to see a brand new Jet Set Radio. And it would definitely be the best on the Switch, of course. There's just... You can't... The, the whole handheld aspect has definitely been a game changer. Now, I'm not talking about, like, how the 3DS, I'm talking about having an actual, you know, home console on the go. What is this, uh, Onion Ring or probably Calamari, right? So we just hop through it? Alright. I see this. Nice, so uh, very reminiscent of Sonic, I think. Which I haven't I haven't been too much into Sonic. But Sonic Colors for the Wii, that was an awesome game. Alright, so just like in the first one you have to beat the stage and then get the little Zap fish thing. I don't know what you call it. Kettle? Teapot? What is that? I, I recognize this music. This was definitely like a, a remix of something of the first one. And of course, these are very um, familiar. They're the sponges that you have to ink up in order to increase the size. And the enemy can decrease them with their ink. I wonder if I was supposed to pop that balloon. Make sure you break all the crates because you might find a hidden item. I guess this is just to hide behind, maybe. What's going on with this world? It's very, um... What was that Stephen King production? Anyway. 
or like they'll be hidden over here. You always have to just be on the lookout. You can't really... I mean, you could speed through these, right? That's what all the speedrunners do, but... I like to take my time. Admire the backgrounds. Aha, see that? A little secret item right there. Which I still don't know what it is, but... See what we got down here. There you go. We got the secret scroll. Got a checkpoint. These things you can't kill. I remember these. They kind of just erase your ink like that. That's right. So what you want to do is just kind of splat all around the place and then just go up. Very, um, the ink in this version has, like, little sparks, not sparks, but, like, little specks of, like, I don't even know, glitter, something. It's interesting. Alright, before we continue onto that, let's check up here. And some more secrets. Just like that. And now we can progress. here like a octo bomber so if I just like burst the balloon is that kill him instantly okay, very nice Second zap fish. This looks like it's stage one, I guess. I kind of skipped around. So, if you thought those other two stages were easy, well, I guess, yeah. Still on the lookout for the scroll. Ooh, look at this. Got something there, I guess that was just... To progress, nothing. Of course, these first few stages aren't, again, not gonna be... Terribly challenging, but that's alright. Get used to controls. I really have to change the sensitivity in my aiming. But also, I want to try out motion controls. I've tried them in the past, and like many other people say, I felt it was kind of awkward. But if you're just persistent and just keep with it, people say it makes big difference. But again, I'm not too worried about it in this story mode. Maybe if I play it online, then that's when you really have to get into it. With the motion control. Still haven't seen the scroll anywhere. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. Don't want to get in there. Ah, I see. Okay. There we go. It's not the scroll, but... Could be out there somewhere. I didn't mean to do that.
that's what we need to do. Interesting um, art. What is that? Is this supposed to be a city? Again, I'm getting a lot of sort of Jet Set Radio vibes here. You know what I'm talking about. So I can go through there. This is where I want to go. Hey, we got it. Good. That special works beautifully in the story mode. Online, not so much from what I've tried in the test fires. People can see it coming, and they get right out of there. Do I want to? Oh, there we go. Food. Like a little, you know, thing of cat food. Alright, got our third zap fish. We can continue, move on. Let's see what that is, and then we'll probably stop for now. So here's our first boss battle. The boss battles in Splatoon, the first one. We're pretty good, very fun, and I do remember you could change the difficulty, I believe, after you beat the game or whatever, or maybe it had something to do with the amiibos. Anyway, we got a tentacle monster here. oven just when you thought the first one can get just when you thought the first one was weird this game comes out with an oven boss I guess we're supposed to climb up here I see you gotta go up top and just shoot this very reminiscent of the first one there was some sort of boss battle I remember that was like this. Again, right? A lot more platforming. Which is, again, that's why I love this game, because of all the platforming. I'm just kind of 
in awe of what I'm witnessing right now. It's very, very bizarre. I knew I was close. So now we gotta be a little more strategic. Gotta pop in around. That's alright though, I think we got it. Or apparently not. Spread up on top here, then I believe that's it. So that's the first boss down. Not bad. Again, it's kind of a slow start, but like most games, they start off slow and they build up. So it's off to the next area, but this is where we stop for now. If anyone out there is watching, thanks for watching. And stay tuned, I'll have some more ARMS videos in the future, and of course more Splatoon 2.